Just finished nailing off the uh, plywood here. This is half inch uh, plywood CDX. It's got uh, knots and stuff like that. It's designed to be kind of covered. But uh, I'm using eight penny uh, sinkers and I'm doing on the edges six inches, close to. I'm not measuring each one. And then in the center, you do uh, one foot. That's just standard for uh, plywood sheathing nailing. I wanted to take a minute and talk about the roof structure that I got going on here. Uh, when you're adding new to old, not everything's gonna work out perfectly. This old building is not plumb level or square. My new structure is plumb level and square. So I ran into some issues with doing my roof structure. I can't just make one joist and copy it and have it go all the way through because this wall the walls on this building are a little skinnier at the top than they are at the bottom. <clears throat> so basically I have to cut each one of these individually. Not that big of a deal, but just adds a little bit of time rather than making one and tracing it and being done. 
Um, one thing that I did do too, not sure if you could see it, but there is a string that runs from underneath that 2x4 there over to that 2x4, and that gives me my height so that I can match this existing roof height and not have waviness going through. <clears throat> uh, it is pretty consistent because my wall is level. Um, for the cut, this is a standard bird's mouth cut. If you're looking for more information on this cut, check out the video I did on that. I don't think I could re replicate that video here. Um, that one was really good, so check it out. It's pretty good. <clears throat> uh, so basically, I'd cut this bird's mouth, cut that bird's mouth, and then put the thing, put the joist back up here and uh, mark my center wall here and then drop that down in there. So I got two more. I got one more here. Oh, and these are two foot on center spread. So I got one more over here at two foot and then one on the end of the wall. So let's get back to it. the details so on this I need to match what they got on this existing building so there's this very cool I don't know what you call it design here and then there's also a uh, like a 3 8 bevel on the joists so I'm lucky that I have this that I can match so now I just got to make it look the same let's get to it <laughs> 